Okay, what um, da, 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 da. All right, we're live. Looks like we're live. Yes, we are. So, I am just going to bring my friend Eleni Anastas on here with me. So, be here with me. Eleni, if you're watching, come in, send a request. So while Eleni is trying to get on, I just have a question for you. Are you just barely making your ends meet? Are you just earning enough to get by? Are you just making enough money to pay your bills? Have things, pay, things being paid on time, working on time? but not really saving anything, not feeling like you're achieving something, not feeling like you're actually gaining something, not feeling like you're actually growing. You're just sitting there, just stagnant, just really not succeeding in life as such. Are you tolerating and are you, are you just barely making ends meet? So that's what Eleni and I are gonna talk about. Let me see. If she is able to join us, she is here. She's joining. Eleni, come on. Hello. There you are. Here I am. So, well, Eleni, I am a little bit stressed. What's I am going on? frustrated. And I'm frustrated and stressed because. Sometimes it feels like as an entrepreneur, I'm just mm -hmm. barely making my ends meet. I'm just somehow getting by. I'm just, something is stopping me. Yes. I'm just yes. so frustrated. I think a lot of entrepreneurs deal with that. A lot of entrepreneurs deal with that, especially, you know, month to month. Business is inconsistent. You know, you're on a money roller coaster, and you you don't know what's going to happen from one month to the next. And it's really frustrating to not really feel secure that you're going to be able to pay your monthly bills every month to take care of your everyday responsibility. But if how long has it been happening for you, or how long have you been feeling that way? Well, first of all, let me just clarify for people. Disclaimer: I am just obviously acting but that's what you know i have been through in life and that's what right. a lot of entrepreneurs go through and you and i talk about this a lot and my business partner lisa and i you know have seen people struggling with this constantly there is business there is money but it's just not enough and if you talk about you know in real life when i started off when i was a new entrepreneur that was a struggle mm -hmm. for at least two three years because the biggest Absolutely. question for me was I was earning, I was making, the team was growing, right? We started off in my bedroom with two people and then mm -hmm. now we are, you know, a big team, we are global, but that's the challenge we always had for two, three years. It is. Just somehow it, it, making your ends meet. Yes, and I think part of the, the struggle, because again, as a fellow entrepreneur, I'm sure anybody that's been in business for themselves at any level, can talk about that struggle in the beginning, but not just entrepreneurs. I can think of, you know, anybody, whether you're in corporate, you know, have any kind of regular job, how many people feel like each month they're just living from month to month, barely right. making ends meet. They're just getting by. And what I don't think a lot of people realize, because I know I didn't for a long time, is that it just became a toleration I was tolerating just getting by. So there was nothing that was really driving me to do any better, to make more happen. So that's my question for people. Are you tolerating just well, getting by? Well, first question that comes to my mind is tolerating what? Tolerating why? What exactly are we tolerating and why are we tolerating that? Hey, Joyce, thank you for joining in. I think tolerating 
just that minimum, like everybody has a need line, if you will, like, you know, pretty much what your average monthly bills are, you know, whether it's mortgage, rent, car, insurance, and whatnot. And, and the vast majority of people usually just get enough to cover that. And that's, that's their need line, but they tolerate being okay with just making it. So I used to think, right. oh, I'm strong, I'm tough, I can handle it, I can get by, when really I was kind of being too tolerant of being stuck in a situation that was not helping me progress. Right. And, we'll and, and when we tolerate that. that, I think with that toleration, I think something that really um, is, it, it's, I think there's some kind of guilt attached to it. There's some kind of shame attached to it yeah. in wanting more. Yeah in needing more, well, not even needing and wanting more, in wanting to progress, in wanting to do better. Um, yes. And, and that's what we are talking about uh, tomorrow in our show, Money Mindset Matters on Almost Naked mm -hmm. Conversation. So hi, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Hi, Andre. Thank you for joining in. Hi, Karen. Thank you for joining in. So yes, uh, you know, we, we, we talk about guilt and shame. So how is this? I just want to give them a little hint of what we're going to talk about tomorrow. How mm -hmm. is guilt and shame attached to tolerating not succeeding, not progressing? Yes, you're not failing, but you're not succeeding either. You're not making money either. Right, right. And, and the shame, well, first of all, you, we've talked about that guilt is something, you feel guilt when you've done something wrong or you feel you've done something wrong. And that shame comes in when you think there's something wrong with you. So if you feel stuck or trapped, like I feel guilty if I can't support my family or if I can't provide for you know, my children or myself. And then the shame starts to creep in if it happens over and over again. And I think the shame really gets amplified if other people start to notice. You know, because shame exactly. lives in secrecy, right? It lives in the darkness. Absolutely. And, and, other and that, people... I think there's, there's a cover we create out around ourselves to look different, but something else is going yes. on. I just want to acknowledge a couple of comments, really great ones. Andre said, hello. Thank you, Coach uh, Williams. Um, Joyce said, I'm so pissed at my position, barely getting by, mm. exhausted by this struggle. You know, and Joyce, before Eleni answers that, I really want you to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Romaniac TV uh, for the show Money Mindset Matters. So we can talk about it. We would love for mm -hmm. you to join in, uh, send in your comments and questions, and we'll answer them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll deal with this. So, um, you know, uh, Eleni, she's pissed. You know, she's barely getting by, exhausted by this struggle. What can she change? Yeah. Well, and first, Joyce, I, I appreciate your vulnerability and willingness to share that. And you're definitely not alone, you're not alone at all. And the first step obviously is the awareness, you know, to own, own where you're at. And if it's connected right. to like being in debt, you know, so many people feel guilt and shame around being in debt and that keeps them stuck. But I'm here to say that if you can release that guilt and shame because the debt represents who you were in the past. It does not have to represent who you are going forward. It's like, I love that Joyce. Is, yeah, absolutely. Saying, I love that I, Joyce stated that, but that to me is the first step. You're pissed. Okay. Exactly. Now let's look at your situation. Right. Exactly. Acknowledging is where it all begins. And, and, you know, uh, I, I have to say, uh, tomorrow we're going to discuss more on that, but we're also yes. be focusing on, you know, people do, uh, you know, people do hide things rather than acknowledging to themselves. I think it begins yes. with acknowledging yourself and then finding out how can they actually change that situation, right? Yes. You and I... Yes talk about a lot of other things not just money and uh, you have watched other shows people have watched other shows we do so we do touch a lot of uh topics and coach williams is just saying you guys have some most powerful discussions looking mm -hmm. forward to this show we are looking forward to you uh coming to the show and watching uh coach um 
he's one of the sponsors of our show. So mm -hmm. it'll be exciting, right? And Bash says, so excited for tomorrow. So are we, because we are yeah. aiming to change lives, change mindsets, and help people believe in themselves, uh, yeah. have a better and healthy relationship with money, and get out of this guilt and shame to actually start making money with pride. Yes, I want to help people feel empowered, to help them raise their standards. And we're also going to be giving a lot of tips, a lot of golden nuggets, if you will, to start transforming that mindset connected to debt that really holds people back because it's, it's time right. to shift it. And you can. It doesn't matter how much you owe or what it yeah. went for. You can shift your story. Absolutely. It is all in your hands. It is also in your mindset. It is in your actions. It is in your decisions. Uh, and yeah. Joyce adds, uh, truly no guilt or shame. I have been a Great. big earner, but last two years, things have been down the rabbit hike. Uh, I think she mm. went to uh, oh. <laughs> but I'm sure. uh, looking forward to tomorrow. So jo yes, Joyce, please join in. You know, sometimes we don't even realize whether it is guilt or shame, right? Eleni? I, I think sometimes we just convince ourselves I'm not feeling guilty. I'm not feeling ashamed. It's mm -hmm. just a situation I'm going through. But I, right. that's the thing. We define it as a situation. Uh, we define it as a hurdle, but we refuse to recognize. I'm not saying Joyce is in that position, but I'm no. just saying sometimes we don't ourselves recognize what we are going through. What's the mindset doing? What's Why exactly this is happening? Uh, and, and because we don't recognize that, uh, that situation, that reality, we don't deal mm -hmm. with it. We don't fix it. We don't work on it. Well, there's a big difference between a situation and then a pervasive pattern that's happening over yeah. and over again. And that's what yeah. I want to help people get out of those negative patterns that are keeping them stuck. Absolutely. So I am actually looking forward to tomorrow's uh, episode. We are going to Me talk too. about guilt and shame. Well, for entrepreneurs, for anybody, anybody who has guilt and shame towards, you know, around money, towards money, because of money, if you feel guilty for being poor, if you feel guilty for being rich, if you mm -hmm. feel guilty for having too much or not having enough, uh, you need to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dromaniac TV on Facebook. So that's www.facebook.com slash Dromaniac TV. You can also check us out on www.romaniac.com and uh, mm -hmm. we we'll look forward to seeing you, seeing you there. Guys, please, please, please do send us your questions. You know, yes, ask please. If, if this content is something you're interested in, you know, mm -hmm. get people to join you, get people to join in the conversation. Uh, let's all talk about what's going on. How can we fix it? What can we change in our mindsets? Sometimes it's the mindset of people around us. Sometimes it is ourselves. So try, mm -hmm. let's start a conversation about money. Let's start a conversation about it's okay to love money, not feel guilty about it. It's okay to mm -hmm. say, I don't have enough, or it's okay to say, well, I have enough and I'm not sorry for that. All of that, right? Well, money impacts everyone, everywhere on a daily basis. And I just want people to feel like as they should, that they're in control of money. It's not controlling them. Absolutely. And Joyce just said, would love to feel guilty about being wealthy. Well, you know what? That's exactly it. That's, that's something, there is more to it. You know, Joyce, what you're yeah. saying, there is so much more to it because we, you know, and I'm not pointing at you, Joyce. I'm just saying, we take it as a sarcastic statement. We take it as right. cynicism. But why do people even have to feel like, oh, I would love to feel guilty about being wealthy. There is this shame attached. There is an embarrassment attached that, oh, if well, you're wealthy, yeah. People like to judge. And many yeah. of us grew up listening to judgments on both ends. Like, oh, there was judgment about people that could barely make it or that lost their homes or that couldn't take care of themselves. And there's also always been judgment on the other side. Oh, like rich people are greedy. You know, it's, it doesn't matter which side you're on. I think many people grew up hearing the judgment and that caused part of the problem. 
Absolutely. And there's so many more discussions we're going to have, guys, over the next few weeks. So keep stay tuned in. Come to Dramaniac TV. Uh, you yeah. know, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the show. Make sure you tune in. Bring all your friends. Yeah. Let's discuss this together and change lives. Yes. Bye. All right. So with that, I just want to say, uh, you know, remember to honor, love and inspire yourself from within and let's dream big and make it happen. Yes. See you guys. Thank you, Lenny.